Hello everyone, isn't it an exciting time to be alive? All around us the world is changing, it's changing faster than ever before. And what's driving that change? Science. Technology. The very things that make our world work are being reinvented, reimagined, reborn right before our very eyes. We are standing on the brink of a new era. The things we once only saw in science fiction movies are becoming real. It's like we've been given a sneak peek into the future. It looks amazing. We're not just passive observers, we are the participants, the beneficiaries, the builders of this incredible tomorrow. First up, let's talk about something truly mind-bending. Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. Now, you've probably heard of Artificial Intelligence, or AI. It's in your phone. It recommends movies. It helps you navigate traffic. That's narrow AI. It's very good at one specific task. But AGI is different. It's the next level. Imagine an AI that can think, reason, learn, solve problems just like a human, but much, much faster. It wouldn't just be good at one thing, it would be good at almost everything. It could learn to be a doctor, an artist, a scientist, an engineer, all at once. So how will this change your daily life? Think about having a personal assistant that truly understands you. It could manage your schedule, help you learn a new language, give you expert financial advice, help your kids with their homework, all with a deep understanding of your personal goals and needs. For society, the impact is even bigger. An AGI could analyze massive amounts of scientific data, discover new medicines, discover new materials. It could design perfectly efficient cities, solve complex logistical problems to end world hunger. It's like having the brain power of a million Einsteins working 24-7 on our biggest problems. Let's consider a real-world example. Imagine a doctor in a rural village. With an AGI-powered device, that doctor could have instant access to the collective medical knowledge of the entire world. They could describe a patient's symptoms. The AGI could provide a diagnosis with incredible accuracy, suggest the latest treatment protocols, guide the doctor through a complex procedure. This isn't about replacing the doctor, it's about empowering them with a tool that makes them superhuman. Now let's shrink things down, way down, to the level of atoms. The weird, wonderful world of quantum mechanics. This is where we find our next game changer, quantum computing. Your current computer thinks in bits. A bit is like a light switch, either on or off, a one or a zero. It's a simple, powerful system that has served us well. But a quantum computer uses qubits. A qubit is special. Thanks to superposition, it can be a one, a zero, or both at the same time. It's like a spinning coin instead of one that has already landed. This ability to be in multiple states at once gives quantum computers an almost unimaginable amount of processing power. For certain problems, a quantum computer could outperform the most powerful supercomputer on Earth by a factor of trillions. It's a fundamental leap in how we process information. This isn't about making your video games load faster. It's about solving problems currently impossible for any classical computer. One of the biggest is discovering new molecules, creating a new drug, a new material for a battery, simulating how atoms will interact. For complex molecules, the number of possible interactions is astronomical. A classical computer would take longer than the age of the universe to test them all. A quantum computer could do it in hours or days. This will revolutionize medicine, allowing us to design bespoke drugs that target diseases with perfect precision. It will also help us create new catalysts to capture carbon from the atmosphere, or develop super-efficient solar panels. Imagine trying to find your way through a giant maze with a billion possible paths. A classical computer would try each path, one by one. A quantum computer could explore all billion paths simultaneously. Let's turn our attention from computers to the code of life itself, our DNA. For decades, we could only read our genetic code. Now, with a revolutionary technology called CRISPR, we are learning how to write it. CRISPR-Cas9 is essentially a pair of molecular scissors and a search function. It allows scientists to find a specific gene within our DNA and then cut it out, replace it, or turn it off with incredible precision. It's like having a find and replace function for our own biology. This technology is relatively new, but its potential to change medicine is absolutely staggering. Imagine a world where hereditary diseases could be corrected before a baby is even born. Conditions like cystic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia, Huntington's disease, which are caused by tiny errors in our genetic code, could potentially be edited and fixed. This isn't just about treating symptoms. It's about curing the disease at its source, permanently. This technology could also be used to bolster our own immune systems. Scientists are already experimenting with taking a patient's immune cells, editing them with CRISPR to make them better cancer fighters, 
and then putting them back into the body. It's a personalized living medicine. The impact on your life could be profound. In the future, a routine checkup might include a full genomic scan. Your doctor could identify your genetic predispositions to certain conditions like heart disease or diabetes long before you show any symptoms. Then, using precision medicine, perhaps even involving CRISPR-based therapies, they could take preventative action to keep you healthy. It's a shift from reactive medicine, where we treat you after you get sick, to proactive and personalized medicine, where we keep you from getting sick in the first place. Beyond human health, CRISPR is also set to revolutionize agriculture. We can use it to edit the genes of crops to make them more nutritious, resistant to drought, resistant to pests, and higher yielding. This could be a powerful tool in our fight against global food insecurity, helping us feed a growing population on a changing planet. We could grow crops in places they couldn't grow before, all without using as many pesticides or as much water. For all of our amazing technology, we need one thing to power it all. Energy. For centuries we've relied on burning things. Wood, coal, oil, gas. This has powered our world, but it has also polluted our planet. Solar, wind, but they are intermittent. The sun doesn't always shine and the wind doesn't always blow. What if we could harness the power source of the stars themselves? That's the promise of nuclear fusion. Fusion is the process that powers our sun. It involves taking light atoms, like hydrogen, and smashing them together under immense heat and pressure to create a heavier atom, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the process. This is not the same as nuclear fission, which is what current nuclear power plants use. Fission works by splitting heavy, unstable atoms apart. It creates long-lived radioactive waste and carries a risk of meltdown. Fusion, on the other hand, is much safer. The fuel for fusion is abundant, it can be derived from seawater, and the process produces no greenhouse gases and very little radioactive waste which is not long-lived. If the reaction is disrupted it simply stops. It's a clean, safe, and virtually limitless source of energy. For decades it's been the holy grail of energy research, always 30 years away. But now, thanks to breakthroughs in magnets and material science, we are closer than ever. Imagine a world powered by fusion. We would have a source of baseload power that runs 24-7, regardless of the weather. This would make our energy grids incredibly stable and reliable. The cost of energy would plummet, making everything from manufacturing to transportation cheaper and more accessible. It would also enable energy-intensive projects that are currently too expensive, like large-scale water desalination to provide fresh water to arid regions or direct air capture to pull carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. Fusion power wouldn't just be an energy source, it would be an engine for global prosperity and environmental restoration. For you, this means a cleaner planet and lower energy bills. It means the lights will always stay on. Let's talk about how we interact with the digital world. Right now, we mostly look at it through small, flat rectangles, our phone, computer screens. But what if we could step inside it? Or what if the digital world could step out and merge with our physical one? This is the world of extended reality, or XR. XR is an umbrella term that includes virtual reality or VR augmented reality or AR and mixed reality, or Mr. VR immerses you completely in a digital world, blocking out your physical surroundings. AR overlays digital information onto your view of the real world. Emster goes further, allowing digital objects to interact with your real environment. Think about the possibilities beyond gaming. A surgeon could use AR glasses to see a three-dimensional model of a patient's organs overlaid directly on their body during an operation, allowing for incredible precision. An architect could walk through a full-scale virtual model of a building with a client before a single brick is laid. Students could take a virtual field trip to ancient Rome or explore the human bloodstream from the inside, making learning a deeply immersive and memorable experience. The line between learning, working, and playing will begin to blur in exciting new ways. In your everyday life, XR will change how you connect with people and information. Instead of a video call on a flat screen, you could have a holographic telepresence meeting where a three-dimensional avatar of your colleague sits in the chair across from you, making it feel like you're in the same room, even if you're thousands of miles apart. When you're walking down the street, Arkansas glasses could show you directions as arrows on the pavement, display customer reviews floating next to a restaurant, or translate a foreign sign in real time. It's about making information more intuitive and seamlessly integrated into our world. This technology will also create entirely new forms of art, entertainment, and social interaction. 
Imagine attending a concert where fantastical digital creatures dance among the crowd or visiting a museum where historical figures come to life to tell you their stories. We are moving from an internet of information that we look at to a spatial internet that we inhabit. The development of lighter, more powerful headsets and glasses is accelerating, and as this technology becomes more mainstream, it will redefine our very concept of reality. You've heard of the Internet of People where we connect with each other through devices. Now, get ready for the Internet of Things, or IoT. This is the vast and growing network of everyday physical objects that have been equipped with sensors, software, other technologies to connect and exchange data with other devices and systems over the Internet. It's not just your computer and phone anymore. We're talking about your refrigerator, your car, your thermostat, your watch, the streetlights in your city, and even the soil on a farm. Billions and billions of devices all talking to each other, creating a smart, responsive environment. What does this connected world look like for you? Imagine your alarm clock goes off in the morning. It signals your coffee maker to start brewing and your thermostat to warm up the house. As you leave for work, your house automatically locks the doors, turns off the lights and lowers the heat. Your car already knows about a traffic jam on your usual route and suggests a faster alternative. This isn't just about convenience, it's about efficiency. A smart home can optimize energy use, saving you money and reducing your carbon footprint without you having to think about it. It's about creating a seamless and responsive living space. The impact on a larger scale is even more impressive. In cities, IoT sensors and roads can monitor traffic flow in real time to manage congestion and adjust traffic light timings dynamically. Smart garbage cans can signal when they're full, optimizing collection routes and saving fuel. In agriculture, sensors in the soil can tell a farmer exactly which parts of a field need water or fertilizer, leading to huge savings and much higher crop yields with less environmental impact. This is called precision agriculture, and it's essential for feeding our planet sustainably. In healthcare, wearable IoT devices, like a smartwatch but much more advanced, can continuously monitor a patient's vital signs like heart rate, blood sugar, and oxygen levels from the comfort of their own home. This data can be sent directly to their doctor, who can be alerted to any potential problems before they become emergencies. This allows for better management of chronic diseases and enables elderly individuals to live independently for longer. The Internet of Things is about creating a world that is more aware, more efficient, and more responsive to our needs. So much of what we can build is limited by the materials we have. For centuries, we've used steel, concrete, plastic, silicon. But a new class of materials is emerging that will redefine what's possible. Let's start with graphene. Graphene is a truly remarkable substance. Imagine a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb lattice. It's 1 million times thinner than a human hair, yet it's about 200 times stronger than steel. It's an incredible conductor of electricity and of heat. It's almost completely transparent. It's a true wonder material. The potential applications for graphene are almost endless. Because it's so strong and lightweight, it could be used to build radically lighter and more fuel-efficient airplanes, cars. Its conductivity could lead to ultra-fast electronics, batteries that charge in seconds instead of hours. You could have a flexible, paper-thin phone that you could roll up and put in your pocket. Graphene could also be used to create highly effective water filtration systems. A sheet of graphene with tiny pores could desalinate seawater far more efficiently than current methods, helping to solve global water shortages. Now let's get even more futuristic and talk about metamaterials. These aren't materials found in nature. They are artificial structures engineered at a microscopic level. They get their properties from structure, not chemistry. Scientists can design metamaterials that bend light in strange ways, Super lenses that see things smaller than the wavelength of light. Material cloaks that bend light around objects. Theoretical invisibility. The impact will be pervasive. Perfectly soundproof rooms. Seismic cloaks that shield buildings from earthquake shockwaves. Flat, powerful antennas revolutionizing telecommunications. The combination of graphene and metamaterials gives engineers a completely new toolbox to build the world of the 21st century. As we've seen, the future isn't just one single invention away, it's a convergence, a beautiful symphony of many different technologies all developing at once, artificial intelligence, quantum computing, genetic engineering, fusion energy, extended reality, the internet of things, revolutionary new materials, AGI will help us design new metamaterials, quantum computers will help us discover new drugs to be delivered with CRISPR, fusion energy will power the vast data centers needed for all of this to work. Each breakthrough fuels the next. This can all sound a little overwhelming, I know. 
Change can be scary, but it's also incredibly exciting. Every single one of these technologies holds the promise of making life better, healthier, cleaner, more equitable for everyone on Earth. They are tools that can help us solve the grand challenges of our time, climate change, disease, poverty, scarcity. They offer us a path to a future where human potential is not limited by our circumstances, but is unleashed by our ingenuity. This isn't about creating a world of cold, sterile machines, it's about using technology to enhance our humanity. The most important thing to remember is that we are all part of this. The future isn't something that will be built for us by a handful of geniuses in a lab. It will be shaped by the choices we all make, as consumers, as citizens, as students, and as parents. By staying curious, by learning about these new ideas, and by engaging in the conversations about how we should use them, we can ensure that this incredible technological power is used wisely, ethically, and for the good of all. Your voice matters, your curiosity matters. So, let's look forward with a sense of wonder and optimism. The challenges ahead are real, but our capacity for innovation is greater. We are living in a remarkable moment in history, a time when we are gaining the scientific tools to build a truly amazing world. Let's embrace this future. Let's get excited about it. Let's get involved in building it. The future is now, and it's going to be, for lack of a better word, awesome. Let's get to work.